Yo, what up, guys? So, this analysis is on BTC. Be analyzing Bitcoin perpetual futures using using FTS exchange. But the app I'm using for this analysis is Trading View. Okay, so we we'll just do a little analysis on that to start. I've selected my time frame, which is the four hour. Select your trend line. And then we have this down sloping resistance here. We have a down sloping resistance here. Okay. And then you also get um you also get trend line. You also have this. They have also your support. Okay, you also have your down sloping support. Okay, have your down sloping support as well. So let me expand this so that it should be pretty much obvious. Okay, so so this is definitely what BTC is showing us. We have this chart pattern here, and this is called a bearish pennant. This general chart is called a bearish pennant. And for us to calculate the expected move, for you to get the get calculate the expected move you just get the distance between this here the distance from here between here okay and here okay let me and here the distance from where it started falling from to where the the pennant started forming okay uh, Okay, something like this so in other words if we are to get the breakout if this thing is to break out we should be expecting a move to this level we should be expecting a move to this level that's if this breakout is to occur that's if this breakout so we should be expecting something around 22 22 dollars so I will just put an alert there. So if it gets there, I'll be notified. But right now, I don't want to, I'm not taking any trade. I'm not taking any trade. So just for us to look at it. So we have a resistance here, a downsloping sloping resistance. And also we have an up sloping support, which practically gives us um, the bearish pennant. So for all, you remember that resistance is not a point, rather is a zone. So for us to get the zone, the resistance zone we need another tool we need another tool for that analysis and the tool we need is the tool we need is the rectangle okay so we get the rectangle for that we have a resistance here extend this to this level okay take it up you can as well bring it down a bit Okay, bring it down a bit here to so this area. Okay. Okay, so this is a resistance. This is a resistance. And of course, you know that um, resistance and support they are not they are not points, rather they are zone. So we have this the whole of this shaded region is actually a resistance for btc the whole of this shaded region is a resistance for btc so until btc breaks out of this shaded region that is the only time we can conclude that btc has started going up okay so that's the thing i want to share with you guys today